Hey YouTubers, my name is Amber. I hope you're enjoying your day and welcome to another Shop That Stash featuring gunmetal from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Today's look, I wanted to give you an icy blue option. I think I'm going to call this look Iced Steel when I do the um, get ready with me for it. So I wanted something that incorporated blue because gunmetal from the Urban Decay Naked Palette pulls very blue. Um, and also too, I was thinking, I really want to wear a nude lipstick. So this look I put together, I've got gunmetal in the crease. I'm going to show you various options um, for lid shades, shadow bases, liner shadows on the bottom because I did rock a navy blue um, shade on my lower lash line because I really wanted my brown eyes to just pop. Um, so I'll give you all sorts of options that you may have in your collection so you don't have to go um, do any additional shopping. But that being said, um, as far as lipstick colors with this look, you can go with nudes, you can wear pinks, you can wear berries. This is a very versatile everyday option that gives you a little bit of a, a push from your normal everyday makeup, but it's still neutral enough that it's going to match with just about anything that you have to wear. So if you want to recreate this iced steel look and um, see other options that you may have, go on and continue watching. All right, as far as going for this look, I really wanted to keep my lid with a light silvery blue. So I'm gonna give you a couple options. I wanted to keep the steel gray gunmetal shade in my crease with a warm brown so it wouldn't be quite so intense. And then I rocked this look with a matte white highlight or you can do shimmery. So let's go on and get to it with the options. The first one being the eyeshadow base that I'm using personally is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade um, Cool Crush. I love this shade. It's kind of an icy blue and trends purple. Um, if you do not have this shade, there is a NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil. I don't remember what the color is off the top of my head. Very similar to this. Or if you want to strictly shop your stash, you can use a beige color tattoo or you can use a white or you can even use a light silver. So, because definitely, I mean, your eyeshadow is gonna cover it up anyway, but I chose this because the eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4 that I used is very fussy and it doesn't show up. So basically when you're looking at my eyes right now, you're seeing this color tattoo, let's be honest. So, but I'm shopping my stash, I wanted to use it and, and enjoy it. So, then as far as lid shades, what I pulled out like I said, this color is fussy. This is the shade Crystal from Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4. <sighs> I've never been able to get this color to show up. It just, I don't know. I don't know what was with the pigmentation. It's super pretty, but you really have to pack it on to get it to show up. If you have the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4, I would go on and pull this out and show it some love, and that way you see how you feel about it. And if you don't, have the Book of Shadows 4. I have two drugstore options for you that I have subbed in and they look amazing, amazing with gunmetal. The first one is a darker option from Maybelline called Blue Blazes. It's a beautiful color. This definitely is more periwinkle than light blue, but with the um, Urban Decay Naked Palette shade gunmetal, it is so beautiful. And it's drugstore prices. So Blue Blazes from Maybelline. Or, if you're a huge fan of the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, I would pull out the shade Infinite Sky. This is definitely the most metallic of the three shades, but super, super beautiful with gunmetal. I personally love to rock this one. So, here is Infinite Sky from L'Oreal. It is available at the grocery store and your local drugstore right now. If you don't have it, highly recommend these L'Oreal Infallible Shades. Then Blue Blazes and Crystal. Oh, and Crystal's already disappeared. Awesome. <laughs> That's why we're panning palettes. Exactly why we're panning palettes. And then um, as far as my crease area, I wanted a warm brown to transition gunmetal so it wouldn't be in your face too cool for my skin tone. So I pulled out Stila's Desert. You can also use Urban Decay's Naked. Um, or if you have the Jane eyeshadow in the shade Clay, beautiful. Just kind of go with a warm um, brown. You can even use Max Warm Brown, something to kind of soften the edges of that gunmetal, and that way it makes this blue look very wearable and appropriate for every day. Uh, people won't be looking at you going, serious, intense eyeshadow. <laughs> so 
Um, and then as far as crease shades, I went on and used a fluffy brush and put gunmetal in my crease area. If you do not own the Urban Decay Naked palette, I would pull out Stila's Night Sky from the In the Light palette, or you can use the color Slate from your Lorac Pro palette. Um, or if you want to go more the matte route, you can pull the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and Sultry Smokes, or you can pull out your Lorac Pro 2 palette and use the shade Charcoal right here if you want a matte option, or you can pull out, see, are you seeing, are you seeing a trend? Like all this stuff is the same across the brands. Um, or you could pull out um, Pebbles from the Too Faced Matte Eyes palette. And I'm trying to think if there's another gray option that's just off the top of my head. I'll think of one in a minute. But easy, you want to stick with like a steel blue gray. I pulled gunmetal personally because it trends very, very blue. So it looks really pretty with the like light blue colors. Um, and then as far as my highlight, I definitely went with a matte white. So um, I personally used the shade in the buff from my Too Faced Naked Eyes palette. This is in my Finish Six by Christmas or you could use the shade white from your Lorac Pro palette, or you can go with something shimmery like Urban Decay's Virgin or whatever have you. Pick a shimmery white shade, stunning, absolutely stunning, and it will pull the look together. And then um, because I wore the icy blue and I have brown eyes, I really wanted my waterline to pop. So I personally pulled out the Revlon. It's a double-ended photo-ready Kajal pencil in the shade Blue Nile. I saw these at Walgreens. I have not seen them in several months, so I don't know if they're still available. But if you have this in Blue Nile, pull it out. The reason I wanted it is because of this white shade right here. It trends a little bit blue-purple, so it makes my eyes look really, really bright and intense. Like I got a full night of sleep even if I didn't. But if you don't have a white shade like this, you can always line your waterline with something like the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, or you could use a nude eyeliner, or if you want to go more of a blue route, I shopped my stash for the Rimmel Scandalize um, Waterproof Cold Cajal in the shade Light Blue. Looks like so. This is another very beautiful option. And again, drugstore prices if you wanna pick this up. So here's Light Blue. Here's that white side of Blue Nile from Revlon. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I personally like to line the um, outer half of my lower lash line. I chose the blue side of that Revlon um, pencil. It looks like so. This is kind of more of a cobalt blue than navy. Um, but the other thing too is you can stick with a navy. Um, if you have the Maybelline Color Tattoo Base or color tattoo in the shade Electric Blue. I would line my lower lash line with this using an eyeliner brush. Absolutely stunning option. Kind of gives you that cobalt shade and a way to use a Maybelline color tattoo since I know a lot of us have these. And then I personally set my liners to make sure that they're bulletproof all day long. I chose the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette shade in Evidence to line um, on top of that cream base. The pencil or if you don't have evidence you can pull out the l'oreal infallible shade in midnight blue it's just a straight up navy absolutely stunning there's midnight blue or you can pull out your Lorac pro 2 palette again and use the shade navy right here oh i forgot to mention another neat transition shade for you if you don't have a warm brown Use light brown from your Lorac Pro 2 palette, just FYI. So navy, that would be stunning on your lower lash line. Or if you wanna do something a little bit more metallic and bright, like if you have a darker skin tone, this would be absolutely stunning for you. Um, it is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Timeless Blue Spark. Absolutely beautiful. If you want a darker lid shade, this would also be really, really pretty. Here's what Timeless Blue Spark looks like absolutely stunning and then as far as my blush is concerned i kept with the plum tone so something like narsin tarte amazonian clay blush and blushing bride or if you have covergirl's true plum stick with something like plummy based and that way you're fall appropriate and then as far as lip colors go 
this this look is open up to to many options you can wear nudes you can wear pinks you can wear berries um, you can wear purples i mean just tons of looks the lip color i'm wearing right now is urban decay's revolutionary lipstick in the shade liar it's a really um pinky brown nude very flattering on the skin tone there is a wet and wild option in the fergie uh lipstick it's Furby, fergie takes the day Gosh, I can't think of what it is, but it's in the Fergie collection with Wet n Wild. So here is Liar. Then if you are not into straight nudes, like if they don't work as well for your skin tone, I would go the pink route. And the one that I would pick is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Primrose. This is a blue toned pink. Really, really pretty. And this will pair well with plum colored blushes. So here's Revlon's Primrose. Or if you have Max Snob, stunning, absolutely stunning. Another route you could go with your lipstick is if you want more of the purple route, I would pull out the shade Berry Hot from Revlon. This personally is holy grail for me. It's a perfect everyday lipstick. Here's Berry Hot from Revlon. And I wanted to mention another nude option. If you picked up the Too Faced Melted Kisses lipstick set, the shade Melted Nude in there, if you want to go more of a peachy nude, would be absolutely beautiful. Um, so there's Melted Nude. Here's what it looks like in the tube. And then if you want a straight up, more berry but sheer form, like think, think Max Rebel but more every day if you know what i mean because i know with this look i wanted my eyes to be the focus not necessarily my lips i want my lips to balance out my face with the plum blush the color that i chose for that would be um the revlon super lustrous lipstick in the shade plum velour this would give you a nice option to bring in a darker lip definitely trend more pink goes with the the plum blush but it's not overshadowing your your eyes since you are wearing blue with gunmetal so just a couple of options wanted to give you some more ways to shop your stash love and enjoy your makeup and have a good time um, continuing to pan your palette if you're painting the um, naked palettes or Lorac Pro or any of that out of your collection so hope you enjoyed this be on the lookout for the get ready with me and yeah, lots coming your way, lots coming your way. It's just been crazy busy around here and I know you are just as busy as I am. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.